So to start sketching out your cylinder, you guys are gonna use a couple of things before you get started. First things first, you have an ellipse maker right here, which I'm gonna come back to. You need a pencil that's sharpened up, you need a trusty eraser, and you're also going to need to invest in your ruler, okay? So here's what we're doing. We are sketching out a form that is a cylinder, okay? Um, a lot of kids like to start with it as a rectangle, but here's the reason why we've got to kind of go from our shape, which is essentially a rectangle, and transform it into something that is more cylindrical, okay? So I have my trusty cup in front of me, okay? Because I'm sitting higher than the cup, you'll notice that the bottom here, even though we know that this is flat across, okay? Because of my angle, because the angle where I'm sitting, it has like a little bit of a curve to it, okay? So no longer are we going to draw things flat across if we don't see them that way. So a lot of kids would just kind of do the bottom of this cup as like straight across when see how very clearly there's an angle there just from where I'm sitting, okay? Same thing with the top. We know that the top does go straight across, but see how we can see this shape for the curve of the outside. Okay, this is an ellipse, so you all are going to create that using the top of your cylinder and actually part of the bottom. But no longer are we going to just draw it straight across. If you're eye level, if you're eye level with it, for the most part, the top is almost straight across and the bottom almost is right from there. But depending on your angle, you're going to have to start drawing it differently. Okay, so that's kind of the whole point of this exercise right here. Let me see if I can. Dun, dun, dun. Put this back up. Excellent. This works so much better than last time. Okay. So, to effectively use the tools that are in front of you, okay, um, you've got lots of different markings on your ellipse maker right here. So, you have the degree. This is sort of the arc, I think, of the ellipse, okay, um, the arc of the curve. And then you have these other markings here where it says one and a half inch, one and three, three eighths inches or whatever. So the one that we're actually going to use just for our purposes is we're going to use the one and a half by 25 degrees. Okay. So I'm going to use that and I'm going to use this for the very top of my, or the very top of my cylinder right here. Okay. So that would be the top of this cup that I showed you a little bit earlier. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of wrestle this down. Again, this one by this one. Okay, hold it down. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, and use this tool to kind of help you because it's got the angles and the arcs and everything in there. Um, this is where I sketched it before and I failed. Okay, um, from here, what I need you guys to do is you're gonna draw two parallel lines. So these lines come down like shink. Okay, and we're gonna make them somewhere in the ballpark of, I think I'm gonna make them about two and a half inches or so, okay? So this is where my ruler starts. This is the one inch mark, the two inch mark. This is the three inch mark. I think I wanna use this half inch one right here, okay? So this will give me two and a half inches worth of awesome cylinder. That's right, all right. So, kind of coming down from the very, very um, end of this other part, that ellipse, I have two and a half inches worth, okay? Um, I'm gonna shift this over. I'm gonna try and do the same thing over here. So the very edge right here, I'm gonna kind of line up my ruler. And another thing I'm gonna double check is is my ruler parallel to this line I just drew? Does it? Yes, yes it is. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of use that as a guide as well. Um, and if I make this accidentally too long, it's called you could totally erase it. Okay, um, the next thing I'm gonna do is remember how with the cup we saw this bottom part curve. We're gonna actually sketch that out. So we're gonna use the same ellipse that we used before to create that curve in the bottom part, okay? The only thing is, when it was sitting on the table, note how it just curved down, it didn't come curve up and curve down, 
okay? So all we really need to do is just trace the bottom part of this ellipse to make, to create the illusion that it's resting on the table. We're seeing it slightly from above, which means we're seeing this part and the curve. And that pretty much, pretty much is the cylinder right there. We're gonna add some shading techniques a little bit, a little bit later to make it look like a three-dimensional form, um, but at least it's sort of your, your outline of a cylinder right there. So good luck with that.